friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. We have arrived at my favorite video of the year. It's our fall coffee drinks video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make five cozy coffee drinks, perfect for autumn, and I know you're gonna love them. I went ahead and linked all of the recipes down in the description box below. They are on my website, nicolethenomad.com, for your convenience. Today, we're gonna to be making an iced brown sugar pumpkin spice shake and espresso, a scrumptious cinnamon roll latte, a cookie butter latte, a cinnamon honey cold brew with pumpkin cream cold foam, and then finally, an iced pumpkin cream chai. All of these drinks are so delicious and easy to make at home. They have been on rotation here in my kitchen. I love waking up every morning and making one of them as I do my quiet time. So comment down below which one you think you're gonna try. And before we get started, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already part of the family, hit that subscribe button because we are getting closer and closer to 1 million every single day. We'll start off with our iced brown sugar pumpkin spice shake and espresso. Into a small mason jar or bowl, you're going to put half a tablespoon of brown sugar and one tablespoon of pumpkin pie syrup. I've linked the one I'm using down in the description box below. I think it's so yummy. And then you're gonna need to pull two shots of espresso. If you don't have an espresso machine, you can use a quarter cup of strongly brewed coffee, but you're gonna pour that espresso right on top of the syrup and brown sugar. For this next part, I'm using a little cocktail shaker bottle, but if you don't have that, you can absolutely do this in a mason jar or another cup with a lid. Add in a little bit of milk and a few ice cubes. Then secure your lid and shake it all up. Then you're just gonna pour this mixture over a cup of ice, and then you're gonna top it off with a little bit more milk. This drink is so yummy and so quick and easy to whip up. Next up is our cinnamon roll latte. And yes, this one tastes just like a cinnamon roll. For this one, I'm using some sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon torani syrup. You can totally use the regular kind, but sugar-free was the only one the store had when I went. And we're gonna start by pouring one tablespoon of that into the bottom of our mug. Then we're gonna pull two shots of espresso. Again, if you don't have an espresso machine, you can use a quarter cup of strongly brewed coffee. And then you're gonna pour about eight to nine ounces of whole milk into your milk pitcher. And if you have the capability to froth with a steam wand on your espresso machine, definitely do that. If not, a hand frother will also work for this. You'll just want to heat up the milk beforehand. I have been on my latte art journey for quite a while now. I still haven't quite mastered it, but I am getting better at texturizing the milk. So if you're really good at this, knock yourself out and do some latte art here. And then finally, just sprinkle some cinnamon on top. I made apple pie cinnamon rolls the other day, and this paired with this cinnamon roll latte is just a match made in heaven. Next up is our cookie butter latte. For this, you're gonna pull two shots of espresso, or again, a quarter cup of strongly brewed coffee, set that aside, and pour out eight ounces of whole milk. Heat that in the microwave for one minute, and then add a scoop of cookie butter and a pinch of salt. Now using a hand frother, get that all mixed up and nice and frothy until all the cookie butter is dissolved and mixed in. And now it's time to assemble in your mug, pour in your shots of espresso, followed by your cookie butter milk. And I like to top mine with lots of whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon. Then the best part is some warmed cookie butter drizzle on the top. This latte is so divine. It is so decadent and so yummy with all the cinnamony spices, and I know you're gonna love this one. Our final two drinks both use pumpkin cream cold foam, and so before we start them, we're gonna make pumpkin sauce because we need that for our cold foam. In a saucepan, you're gonna add a whole can of sweetened condensed milk, one cup of pumpkin puree, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground allspice, and a fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Finally, add a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then over medium heat, stir this until combined until it gets nice and bubbly. Then take it off at the heat and pour it into a large mason jar or bowl and let this cool down and put it in the fridge for later. Okay, next up is our honey cinnamon cold brew with pumpkin cream cold foam. We're gonna start with our cold foam. In a tall mixing bowl, we're gonna get two and a half tablespoons of that yummy pumpkin sauce that we made. Then we're gonna add about half a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Last is two teaspoons of vanilla and then using a hand frother, you're gonna mix all of that up until it's nice and thick and frothy. Now to assemble in your glass, you're gonna start off with a drizzle of honey and some cinnamon, add your ice, and then fill your glass about halfway with the cold brew. On top of that, you're gonna add a splash of milk, and then finally a big dollop of that yummy pumpkin cream cold foam. Just for fun, I like to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on it, and there you have the most scrumptious, refreshing, cinnamony pumpkin cold brew. All right, our last drink is an iced pumpkin cream chai. This one is a fan favorite at Starbucks, and it's so easy to make. You're gonna start off with a glass full of ice, and then fill it about halfway with chai tea concentrate. Give it a little splash of milk, and then we're gonna top it up with that yummy yummy pumpkin cream cold foam we just made. You can add some cinnamon to the top just for fun, but it's seriously so easy and so quick to whip together. And it's a great alternative if you're not wanting coffee. And there you have it, five 
cozy coffee drinks that are perfect for fall. Comment down below which one you think you would like the best or which one you're excited to try. I personally don't know if I can choose a favorite because they're all so different and unique, but like equally delicious. I just make a different one every day and have them on rotation. Once again, all these recipes are linked down in the description box below. You can find them on my website, NicoleTheNomad.com. But I hope this video made you smile and I hope it got you excited for fall. Before you go, it means so much to me if you gave this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. But thank you so much for watching this week. We'll see you next time. Bye.